Kuya uh, Manalangin. Maraming Diyos, uh, again, uh, maraming salamat po sa umagang ito na pinagpalag mo sa bawat isa. Panginoon, salamat sa oras, Lord God. Alam namin, kasama namin kayo ngayong umagang ito. Salamat po sa presence ninyo. Salamat sa presence ng bawat isa, Panginoon. Uh, patuloy na kayo ang siyang uh, magbigay ng wisdom, knowledge, and, and understanding sa mga nandito ngayong umagang ito. Uh, makikinig kami ng inyong salita, Panginoon. May sa puso, may sa isip namin ng inyong mga salita, Panginoon. And uh, patuloy na bigyan nyo ng wisdom ang nagsasalita ngayong umagang ito, Panginoon. And uh, bigyan nyo rin kami, Lord, ng alam namin nasa mga bahay-bahay lang kami. Bigyan nyo kami ng magandang uh, internet connections din, Panginoon. Talagang kayo magbigay ng uh, oras sa bawat isa, Panginoon. And uh, patuloy, patuloy na hipuin nyo ang bawat isa, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. tayo po'y mag-aawitan muna no? para maging in tune tayo sa ating uh, arinig ngayong umagang ito. Nagawagan ko po si Brother JM para ilid tayo sa ating uh, kantahan ngayong umagang ito. Brother JM Good morning MCBC, unang linggo na naman po ng October, kaya naman po para sa ating unang hymn, let us sing Holy, Holy, Holy. Sing Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God Almighty Early in the morning our song shall rise to Thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. saints adore thee, casting down their golden crowns around the glassy sea. Cherubim and seraphim falling down before thee, which were shall be. Holy, 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 though the darkness hide thee, though the eye of sinful men thy 
praise thy name in earth and sky and sea. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. For a second hymn, let us sing, The Sands of Time Are Sinking. The sands of time are sinking, the dawn of heaven breaks, the For the fair sweet morn awakes Dark, dark hath been the midnight But day spring is at hand And glory, glory dwelleth In man Amen. Thank you for that wonderful singing. Ma'am, ngayon po ikinatawagan ko po si Brother Brad para sa ating uh, scripture reading. Let us all please stand and let us open our Bibles to Psalm 119. Verses 161 to 168. Psalm 119, verse 161 to 168. Beginning in verse 161. Princes have persecuted me without cause, but my heart fears only your word. I rejoice over your promise like one who finds vast treasure. I hate and abhor falsehood, but I love your instruction. I praise you seven times a day.
for your righteous judgments. Abundant peace belongs to those who love your instruction. Nothing makes them stumble. Lord, I hope for your salvation and carry out your commands. I obey your decrees and love them greatly. I obey your precepts and decrees for all my ways are before you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now let us call on our elder for the pastoral prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning that we are again worshiping you. And we praise you for giving us a wonderful time pouring over chapter 119 of the book of Psalms. We glorify you, <clears throat> we adore you because of your goodness. And we are expressing our deepest gratitude to you for letting us understand your grace. And we thank you because of the free gift of eternal life that we so enjoy because of this grace. And so this morning, we ask that you will help us to reflect on the great salvation that we have because of this grace. And as we reflect on such a gracious gift from you. Help us to measure up to your expectation by recalibrating our thoughts, our ways, starting now. Thinking that what is most pleasing to you is we are glorifying you by way of Exercising the faith that we have. And so right now, Lord, we pray that we will seriously look at the day and the days ahead of us. Constant in our faith. Purposive in the way we should carry out and we are carrying out the faith. And allow our lives, allow our lives to be seen by the world around us as lives that are meaningful and lives that are showing the light of your goodness and your sovereignty in the way we deal with people, the way we talk, the way we handle things. Teach us, Father, to always remain practicing the old-fashioned faith, not veering away from it, not entertaining other thoughts. Whereas the world and the social media in particular will keep on trying to poison the minds of the believers. But we know from Psalm 119, the consistency of your reminder, of your prescription, that if we are to stand out in this world, the way to go is by serving you, by embracing your word, and allowing the word to lead us in every way we go. Prepare our hearts, Lord, today as we listen to another message from our pastor. May you graciously encourage each one of us to seriously munch and eat thy word, internalizing them the lessons that we are learning every Sunday from this chapter. 
And so I pray that you will graciously gift our pastor with wisdom so that he will be able to share to us the wisdom of that word. As for the members of our church, we pray that we will be united always, that we will remember the covenants of the MCBC, that we will not be instruments of trouble, that we will remain faithful to you, preserving the truth, standing before the church and standing for the church. Lord, I also pray for those members of our church who are going through certain journeys, problems, issues, concerns, especially during this pandemic. Help us, Lord, and help them to hold on, looking for that great hope of eternal life. Understanding that life is so brief here on earth and that what matters really is the life beyond. What a day that will be, Lord, when finally everything will be at peace because we will be with them. And now, Lord, we pray for our country a country that is so rich with resources and yet a country that is suffering for so many decades because of problems, how this country is being governed. We bow before you, Lord, to have mercy upon this nation. People are getting poorer and poorer with no hope at all because the pandemic is sure to stay for more years and it is devastating our economy, worsted by the way this nation is being governed. And so we pray, O oh Lord, that this coming elections, people will be thought properly on how to choose the leaders of this nation. We can no longer afford to let sufferings continue. Something has to happen by way of good governance in the midst of this lasting pandemic. Help us, Father, to be instruments of wisdom. Make use of Christians to be instruments of your wisdom in helping people understand what criteria to use in selecting our leaders. Grant us, therefore, Lord, your peace. The Bible is enough a guide to let people understand how to choose leaders. In his name we pray. Amen. Ngayon po ay tinatawagan naman natin ang ating uh, MCBC Coral para ay uh, bigay, bigay, bigyan din ng uh, awitin ng, para sa Panginoon. MCBC Coral. Can't heal the sick or cause the light. 
BBC Coral. Ganda ng title, ano? God can and He will. Totoo naman, no? Totoo naman yun, yung mensahe na yun. Well, uh, bago tayo mag-upisa, uh, basahin, ayan yung basahin ko po muna yung mission and vision ng MCBC uh, Church, ano? Ang aming vision is uh, to be a glad, obedient, and evangelizing people of God founded on the word, serving the word. Sa amin namang mission, pursue one-on-one evangelism until the one becomes a disciple of Christ and the church passion for soul becomes a lifestyle. Yan po sa, sa ating mga bisita, yan po ang aming uh, vision and mission dito sa aming uh, church. Ngayon po, uh, ihanda po natin ating mga sarili uh, sa, maraming, sa maraming natin mensahe mula sa ating uh, kay Pastor Leo. Again, sa mga nasa Facebook uh, Live, dito sa Zoom Live, uh, magandang umaga po. I- again, ihanda natin ating mga sarili. I-mute lang natin yung ating mga audio, no? Na talagang uh, makinig po tayo sa ating, uh, hindi tayo manunood, no? Hindi tayo manunood, kundi tayo mag- uh, o magpe-fellowship tayo, mag-worship ngayong umagang ito. Good morning po, uh, Pastor Leo. Good morning. Uh, good morning, uh, Brother Jay. At uh, good morning po sa bawat isa sa atin, sa ating pong mga friends, sa ating pong mga kaibigan na nasa Facebook at uh, sa bawat isa po sa atin na nasa uh, Zoom. Uh, tayo po ay nagpapasalamat sa Panginoon sapagkat uh, alam nyo, uh, habang tinitingnan ko po ang, uh, ang uh, ating pong serye ay uh, napaka, sabi nga ng kapatid na Jay, ay napakabilis ng panahon sapagkat uh, tayo po ay nasa uh, pangalawa no, sa panghuli na ng ating pag-aaral. And uh, next uh, Sunday, ang ating pong elder ay magbibigay po ng conclusion sa uh, uh, dito po sa Psalm uh, 119 na napakaganda. At uh, ito pong uh, section na ito, uh, kung tawagin po sa Hebrew alphabet ay sin or shin, kaya po magtataka kayo, uh, nakalagay po dyan sin na palang ang kanyang spelling po ay uh, S-I-N parang kasalanan at uh, shin na merong H. Uh, hindi po tinutukoy dyan yung tinatawag na kasalanan. Yan po ay it's a matter of pronunciation po no, sa Hebrew. Alam niyo po ba kung ano lamang pinagkaiba? It's just a matter of a dot. Okay? Dot lamang po. No? Imagine niyo po yung W. Okay? Yung W po. Lagyan niyo po ng dot sa may bandang kanan. Okay? Ang tunog po ay shin. Pag po nilagyan niyo ng dot sa kabila ay sa kaliwa, ang tunog po ay sin, sin, shin, tav. So, uh, yan po ay may patungko lamang sa pronunciation. Pero alam niyo, napakainam, kitang-kita ko yung excitement kay Deacon Manny, kay Deacon Al, at uh, sa ating elder, nung ito po ay dahan-dahan nating binabalangkas, ito pong sa 119 na napakaganda. Alam niyo, talagang dinirect po tayo ng Panginoon na itong panahon ng, ng uh, kahirapan, itong panahon ng panahon ng pandemya ay ilagay ng Panginoon ito sa ating uh, parang hapagkainan at ito po ay ating uh, pagsalusaluhan bilang isang uh, iglesia at bilang uh, mga nakikinig sa salita ng Panginoon. No? So dito po nakita ko sa, sa sin or shin, okay? dito po sa second to the last letter ng uh, Hebrew alphabet ay patuloy po ang uh, ang uh, writer, ang psalmist na talagang, uh, alam nyo, ito po, no, naalala ko, ewan ko lang sa inyo kung ito po ay nangyari sa inyo. When I was a kid, uh, kapag ka mayroong pagkakataon na, uh, alam nyo, uh, kunyari binilan ka ng bagong uh, sapatos o kaya laruan no, ng magulang, ng tatay at saka ng nanay, alam nyo, di ba, yung bang uh, bago mo gamitin, pinapatagal mo, tapos uh, hinahawakan mo siya, tapos parang uh, sinisilip po yung mga kanto, no? Sinisilip po yung kanto na parang ina-appreciate mo yung yung pagkabago, pero hanggang umpisa lang 'yon sa bago lang. Pero pagdating ng pagdating ng uh, pagkanasuot mo na wala na. So I think ang 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 uh, psalmist ay tinitingnan niya sa bawat anggulo ang ang beauty at ang uh, 
ang ganda ng salita ng Panginoon. So this morning, ang pamagat po ng ating pag-aaral ay In Awe of Your Words. That's the title okay, ng message ngayong umaga, In Awe of Your Words. Dito po sa Psalm 119, Uh, verses 161 to 168. Kung kung inyong mapapansin, nung ito po ay uh, pinag-aaralan ko ng mga panahon na uh, uh, ako ay uh, nagkasakit at uh, tiningnan ko na maigi. No? Habang tinitinan ko, uh, parang uh, dito sa section na ito ay, ay uh, binigyan ng parang napakagandang arrangement ng psalmist ang ganda o ang tinatawag na beauty ng salita ng Panginoon. Kaya uh, sa kanya, para sa kanya, he was in awe. So pag sinabi natin awe, A-W-E, kasama po dito yung tinatawag na wonder with an O at saka yung tinatawag na reverence. Yung pagkamangha at saka yung paggalang sa salita ng Panginoon. At dito po sa, sa Psalm 119, you will find That whenever we ascribe to the Lord, halimbawa, glory and honor, habang tumatagal, ang Panginoon at ang kanyang salita ay parang nagpapalit lang. Now, dito makita po natin na ang psalmist ay kanyang dinadakila, binibigyan ng papuri, okay, ang salita ng Diyos. So, ibig sabihin, ang, ang Panginoon at ang kanyang salita ay hindi na natin pwedeng maipaghiwalay. What God says, okay, what God says speaks, okay, of his own attributes, of his own uh, character, yung kanyang katangian. Kapag sinabi ng Panginoon, okay, nire-reflect ng kanyang sinasabi ang kanyang tinatawag na katangian. So, doon po makita natin kung gaano ka, kung gaano kaganda ang uh, ang uh, ang God, ang Panginoon sa kanyang uh, mga salita. Now, kung inyong mapapansin, so our, the title is In Awe of Your Words. At dito po makita natin, uh, meron pong sa bawat verse, sa bawat uh, verse ng, ng uh, section na ito, dito po sa eight verses na ito ay, sinasabi ni David o kaya ng psalmist yung kanyang sitwasyon. At kapag katapos niyang sabihin, tingnan niyo po napakaganda. Ano ang sitwasyon mo ngayon? So David was actually talking about his situation sa walong verses na ito, sa unang line. And then pagkatapos po ay, sasabihin ngayon ni David ang tinatawag na commitment niya. Alam niyo napakaganda, no? So una, tingnan mo yung sitwasyon mo. Okay, nakita ni, ni David ang kanyang situation. Tapos pangalawa, Abay, nagkaroon siya ng resolve at nagkaroon siya ng commitment. Nagkaroon siya ng determination. Alam niyo, parang ganyan din po ang mga narinig na natin o mga unang pag-aaral. Alam natin kung nasaan tayo, right? Alam natin kung ano yung ating kalalagayan. Meron pa ba sa atin dito ang hindi pa alam ang ating kalalagayan? O mga minamahal, napaka-difficult ng ating situation. Situation. Sabi nga kanina sa panalangin ng elder, kasama po dito ang social media ay talagang nagpapahirap din sa atin kung paano, okay, kung paano tayo ginagawang dumb, okay, ng social media. At minsan tayo mga Christians, meron tayong tendency, gamitin ko yung salita na ginamit ng Deacon Manny, to align ourselves para i-align ang ating sarili saan. Yung bang sa hubog at saka sa pananaw ng social media na kung saan mas lalo tayong nalulugmok sa panahon na, ng, ng pandemyang ito. So here is David, in awe of your words. Pag sinabing in awe, Panginoon, ako ay namamangha and at the same time, lubos ang aking paggalang. So pagkamangha at paggalang, malalim na paggalang. Ganun din po ba ang nangyayari sa ating mga buhay? That the more we see the beauty of God in our lives and in our situation, yung paggalang natin ay nagdadala sa atin sa isang commitment na, Lord, dahil napaka, napaka dakila mo, namamangha ako sa iyo, sa iyong mga salita, Panginoon, ito yung aking resolve. Ito yung aking commitment. Ito yung aking ito yung aking conviction. Alam nyo, same thing is true. Pinaranas ng Panginoon sa akin at sa amin. 
ang 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 uh, ang uh, karamdaman na parang noo na lang no naisip po na uh, somebody you know got positive and so on pero pinaranas ng Panginoon and then from that situation tingnan niyo situation nagkaroon ng tinatawag na resolve nagkaroon ng tinatawag ng commitment at alam niyo mga minamahal of course we do not wish and we do not pray that you know certain things will befall on us pero mga minamahal this is life and god is in full control and whatever god allows to take place in the coming days sa mga darating na panahon sa buhay natin mga kapatid the lord will allow us to see our situation and that the lord would want would want to see from us yung pong ating resolve at yung pong ating commitment sa kanya alam niyo mga kapatid, talagang tunay na ito po ay ginagawa ng Diyos. Tingnan niyo ha, sino ba naman sa atin ang magkakaroon ng resolve, ng determination, kung hindi mo makita ang tunay mong katatayuan? You see? Unless na makita mo kung sino ka at kung ano ka, then you would make a resolve or you would be resolved or you would make a resolution. Talagang ikaw ay magkakaroon ng ng uh, ng decision. So I want to encourage you to uh, look uh, <coughs> with me closely. <coughs> to look with me closely. Dito po sa section na ito, tingnan niyo po ha, so David magmula po sa verse 1, pinapakita niya ang kanyang situation at ang commitment. Tingnan niyo po kung paano ginawa ni David. Number one, okay? Paulit-ulit po ang ang pangalawang sinasabi niya. So the first thing is this. Lord, your words are my defense. Look at verse 1, okay? Ah, uh, pupwede po may hawak tayo na iba-ibang version, pero sa hawak ko pong version ang sabi diyan, rulers persecute me without cause. Ang sabi naman po ng iba, leaders seek me as scapegoat, a uh, scape uh, goat scam. So in other words, dito makita po natin, katulad na nabigyan ng DN ng Deacon uh, last time, nariyan ang persecution, nariyan ang kahirapan. Tingnan niyo po, ang sabi ni David, your words are my defense. Tingnan niyo po, your words are my defense. Mga minamahal sa ating pong konteksto ng ating situation, we may be being persecuted by people around us. Pero ang sabi po ni David, pwede po natin sabihin, okay, sapagat ito po ay paulit-ulit nating maririnig ang sabi diyan your my heart stands in awe of your words yun po yung pangalawa so i'm just trying to um uh, uh kumbaga rephrase it tingnan niyo po ah. rulers persecute me without cause so number one, lord your words are my defense sapagkat ang sabi diyan my heart stands tingnan niyo po yung pangalawang stanza o yung pangalawang line But my heart trembles at your word, or my heart stands in awe of your words. And kaya po ang title ng ating pag-aaral ay in awe of your words. Sa bawat uh, verse, dito po sa eight verses na ito, ang second line can be translated as my heart stands in awe of you. Tingnan niyo po ah, kung merong persecution or it can be Uh, difficulty or it can be a uh, sad uh, situation in life and yet ang resolve ni David or ni David I your words my heart stands in all of your words so makita po natin dito yan ay totoong totoo sa buhay natin you know when situations uh, <clears throat> bring us to difficult kumbaga experience in life ang ating resolve dapat ay my heart stands in all of your words that's number one. tingnan niyo po ah so yung pong yung pong persecution dito can can represent all kinds of difficulties sa buhay 
Naalala nyo itong pandemic na ito na nagkaroon ka ng devotion, okay, one time. Nagkaroon ka ng devotion and then the Lord has spoken to you through that particular devotion and verse that you have. At alam nyo, pagkatapos nun, talagang panibagong lakas at parang nararamdaman mo na ang salita ng Panginoon ay nagbibigay sa iyo ng defense. Parang siya yung iyong uh, 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 legal attorney. Parang siya, siya yung tinatawag na tagapagtanggol mo. Nangyayari yun, di ba? Have you experienced that? Na ang salita ng Diyos ay nagtatanggol o kaya nagbibigay po sa atin ng defense kapag kaminsan mahirap ang ating situation sa buhay. Okay? Remember that. Number two, tingnan niyo po ang, ang stanza or ang verse two. I rejoice, or 162, I rejoice in your promise. Tingnan niyo po, the next line, again, my heart stands in awe of your words. Or, ang sabi sa ating mga version, like one who finds great spoil. So number two, makita po natin dito, your words, ang sabi ni David, okay, your words are like treasures. Alam niyo, parang sila po, ang salita ng Diyos ay, ay uh, kumbaga, treasure. No? Taalala po natin ang Matthew, Matthew 13 no? na meron pong story na meron pong isang uh, uh, tao na naghukay at meron siyang nakita. So yung treasure na yon ay para nagsisimbolo ng, ng, uh, ng, uh, uh, kumbaga, ng greatness sa ating Panginoon o uh, ng uh, kapangyarihan ng Diyos o ang kingdom ng Panginoon. So ang ginawa niya ay, Naalala natin, the parable of the hidden treasure. So ang ginawa niya, hindi niya muna kinuha, but then he went home. At ang kanyang ginawa ay, he sold everything that he had para lamang makuha yung tinatawag na, kumbaga, uh, treasure na yon sa buhay. And that's about the kingdom. So here, makita po natin, ang salita ng Diyos ay parang isang treasure. Alam niyo, the more we understand it, kaya nga, alam niyo, Uh, I think uh, ang ating mga leaders ay talagang nagde-desire at talagang pag-aralan ang salita ng Panginoon. And just imagine, ang sabi ni Martin Luther, ang sabi niya, kung si Martin Luther ay merong knowledge sa Biblical Hebrew and Greek, ang sabi niya, uh, kapag ka daw, kapag ka daw na, uh, inaral natin yung Bible sa pamamagitan ng tinatawag na translation, it's just like kissing a, a bride, your bride, through a veil. Naalala natin, di ba? Di ba kapag ka sinabing kiss the bride, anong ginagawa ng groom? Itataas niya yung veil, okay? Tapos sa kanya hahalikan, di ba? Hindi, nakakita na ba kayo na hindi tinaas ng groom, okay, yung veil at kinis niya through the veil? Ang sabi ni Martin Luther, understanding the Bible through a particular version or translation is like, under, or is like kissing your bride through the veil. So ibig sabihin, mga minamahal, itaas mo yung veil and you may now kiss your bride. Mga kapatid, ang salita ng Diyos ay treasures. Ito po ay talagang kayamanan. Ito po ay something na, na atin pong uh, natatagpuan just like sa isang gera. No? This, this is like a spoil. So in the ancient times, alam na po natin, no? kapag ka may gera at kapag ka meron kong nakuha, okay, yun ay mga spoils o kaya mga nakuha sa gera. And they are considered na, na importante sapagkat para, uh, uh, para din po sa uh, nakakuha nun o kaya sa nakapag-invade at karagdagang uh, puwersa o kaya gamit nila. So here we find the Word of God. So ang sabi po dito ng verse 2, ang sabi dyan, I rejoice in your words as discovered spoil. I rejoice in your promise. And then, tingnan niyo po yung, yung parang unisag, my heart stands in awe of your words. Sa mga panahon po ng ating uh, serendipity, okay? Parang, parang meron po tayong uh, discovery. No? Parang, parang eureka, okay? I found it, o kaya na-discover na, na, na mo. At the end of the day, mga kapatid, wala pong katumbas ang salita ng Diyos na isang treasure na parang ito po ay ating natangpuan. No? Kaalala ko, uh, uh, <clears throat> meron, pong, uh, meron pong isang uh, nakatagpo, ng, uh, nakatagpo no? parang nakalimutan niya na ilagay niya sa, sa isang uh, uh, taguan na ang tagal niyang nakita. 
Tapos yung nakita daw itong ng taong to, nakita niya yung $100 bill, ay halos, kumbaga, parang nag-iba na ng kulay. Pero alam niyo, trinay niyang ipalitan, pinalitan, pero mababa yung, uh, yung uh, exchange rate dahil kumupas na, okay? Umiba na ng kulay. Naalala natin kapag kami mga ganong inipit mo sa libro. So, parang parang treasure na rin yun sa taong yun. So mga kapatid, again, ang sabi ng verse 2, I rejoice in your word as discovered spoil. And then again, my heart stands in awe of your word. So you try to understand the situation and then see kung ano po yung resolve at kung ano po yung commitment ng psalmist na ito. Higit pa sa na-discover mong uh, parang uh, treasure sa mundong ito. Look at verse 3. Ang sabi ng verse 3, I hate and detest falsehood. Or, I love your law and I hate the false. And then again the chorus, My heart stands in awe of your words. So makita po natin dito, Your words are delightful. Ito po ay tasty. Alam niyo, nung last uh, Saturday, uh, nagkaroon po, naalala niyo na nagkaroon tayo ng Shabbat, uh, Shabbat meal. Uh, Elder and I, we were able to kumbaga parang uh, show or kaya parang uh, ipinakita namin po ano yung po ano yung larawan ng Shabbat meal no sa mga Jewish people. So nung last uh, Friday, kasi di ba ang, ang Sabbath, Para sa mga Jewish people ay sunset ng Friday and the, uh, yeah, sunset at saka sunrise ng Saturday. Alam nyo, I had the chance again of uh, being a part of this uh, Shabbat meal. Pero syempre, ang, ang aking perspective, Christ is the fulfillment you know, of the Shabbat meal. Pero alam nyo, um, yung, yung, uh, yung kala, yung bread na uh, pinagkukunan natin, I think some of us are actually... Uh, familiar with uh, Bayit Lechem. Okay, di ba? Isang, ano yan, isang bakery na nagpo-provide ng uh, kala. So, uh, deliver dito sa Manila at uh, so nagkaroon kami ng chance to uh, to uh, partake of the Shabbat meal at uh, merong isang uh, member na kung saan ay sabi niya, uh, we will provide the meal. Alam niyo, pagkatapos nun, uh, so we had a meal, pero alam niyo, at the end of the day, Yung kala, yung bread, mamaya meron tayong tinatawag na Lord's Supper, okay? It's just, those things are, are just a, a symbol. Pero alam nyo, here we find that God's words are delightful. Higit siya sa lahat ng mga bagay na tasty. Higit siya sa lahat ng mga bagay na masarap sa mundong ito. Alam nyo, you know, right now I'm counseling a particular uh, student na kung saan ay nahuhumaling siya sa drugs. No? And I just pray that the Lord will encourage this person na talagang ibalik, ibalik sa kanya yung tinatawag na first love. And I know the situation is difficult right now. Kaya uh, nag-uusap kami ng Manaya ng aking anak na, you know, sometimes... When we reason out because of our situation and we try to mention, eh kasi dahil sa pandemic, kasi dahil sa pandemic, alam niyo, dumating na daw tayo sa point na ang pandemia ay bahagi na ng ating buhay. And so whenever you make it a reason, you know, to justify your own wrong deeds, ay dumarating na tayo sa pagkakasala. Hindi na tama yun because we are in this. Lahat po tayo ay narito na sa pandemia. So if we try to make this as kumbaga a circular reasoning, okay, paikot-ikot tayo because of the pandemic, of course we are all experiencing difficulties right now because of the pandemic. Kaya nga, this is our resolve. Ang ating commitment dapat ay, Lord, your words are a delight to me. Kaya ang sabi ng psalmist, my heart stands in awe of your words sa kabila ng lahat ng mga bagay na ugly at mga bagay na mahirap sa mundong ito. The word of God remains to be our delight. Verse 4, tingnan niyo po yung number 4. Daily I praise your decree seven times. Or sa ibang version, ang sabi ng 164, seven times I, I, a day I praise you. And then yung response po, yung pangalawang line, my heart 
stands in all of your words. Tingnan niyo po. Okay? Yung salita, yung phrase na my heart stands in all of your words, yan po ay paulit-ulit sa second line na bahagi hanggang verse 168. So here we find, Lord, your words are always fresh. Ito po ba ay nagiging totoo sa ating mga buhay, mga binamahal, that whenever we open the word of God, diba, ito po ay fresh. Ibig sabihin, ito po ay talagang, talagang uh, dalisay at ito po ay nagbibigay po sa atin ng lakas, sa ating mga tigang na puso at kalalagayan. Diba, sabi ng ancient prophet Hosea, Lord, break the fallow ground of our hearts. Panginoon, ang aming tigang, puso, tigang na puso ay inyo pong palambutin. And the word of God is like a dew. Ito po ay parang isang mountain dew in the morning. Ito po ay bagong parang isang hamog that every day we experience freshness. It's just like, ang sabi ng Deuteronomy, my word is not far from you. In fact, it is very near. So the Bible is always fresh. Your words are always fresh, Panginoon. Kaya dito makita po natin ang karanasan ng sitwasyon natin. Ano ang sitwasyon at ano po ang tugon ng Salmos. And then look at verse 5. Tingnan niyo po ang verse 5. Or ang tinatawag, Uh, dyan po ang 165. Great peace have those who love your law. And then notice again, my heart stands in awe of your words. Or, and nothing can make them stumble. It refers to the word of God. It is amazing. Okay? Nothing can make them stumble. And so, ang panglima po ay, Lord, your words are my security and peace. Alam niyo, ano man ang mga bagay na mangyari, <laughs> nung nakalipas na araw, di ba, merong lindol, uh, nabanggit nila, Brad, dito, malakas daw dito sa Manila, as in talaga. So ang ginawa ni Brad, binuksan niya yung, yung, uh, binuksan niya yung pinto just in case. Okay, just in case na talagang lumakas, samantalang sa Antipolo, parang hindi, hindi namin naramdaman. Wala kami naramdaman, siguro dahil sa nakatulog na or what. Mga kapatid, we do not know. At uh, napakaraming mga pangyayari ngayon sa ating kapaligiran na, na hindi mo akalain. No? Uh, Meron isang, uh, isang pangyayari no, na share sa akin ni, ni Jane uh, kasama namin. Uh, ang sabi ni Jane, meron daw isang parang, uh, uh, ano ba yun? parang uh, ilog o kaya parang that is my falls actually sa likod na ang... Uh, Family ay nagkakasayahan. Alam niyo, biglang, lo, biglang bumuhos. Yung falls ay bumuga ng napakaraming tubig at tinangay. Alam niyo yung mga naliligo doon. Just imagine, you never know. Marami nag enjoy doon ng panahon yun. Pero imagine niyo biglang uh, tinangay at ang isa po ay nakita ata sa, sa dagat na. Mga minamahal, uh, right now, God remains and His Word. God and His Word. Remain to be our security and peace. Tignan niyo po ang sitwasyon. Ang sabi po dito yung uh, sitwasyon, ma, daily eye pressure decrease seven times. Now, you wonder probably why seven times. Alam niyo po sa mga Jewish people, ang, seven, ang, ang number seven ay napaka-interesting, napaka of course. Uh, we need to remember na tama po na ito po ay number of perfection. But at the same time, they have also seven blessings. Meron silang seven blessings or prayers sa marriage. Meron silang tinatawag na seven blessings when it comes to uh, certain uh, activities or feasts. So ibig lang sabihin nito ay yung continuity. In other words, here we find ano man ang mangyari sa buhay. Here we find daily I pray sure decrease seven times. But then my heart or verse 5, to love your law is security and peace. My heart stands in awe of your words. And look at verse eight, uh, verse 6. Your commands steer hope for salvation's joy. Verse 166, I wait for your salvation, Lord, and I follow your commands. Okay, sa ibang version ay merong, merong joy. At kanina naalala ko, before the preaching, I share ng kapatid, ni Jay, kapatid na Jay ang ating uh, vision and mission. Alala natin ating vision, a glad 
okay, obedient, okay, and evangelizing people of God. So naroon yung idea ng gladness in our hearts. Di ba? So here we find uh, verse 6, Lord, your words are my joy. Tingnan niyo po, ah, ang joy ay sabi ng marami, and I think I would, I would agree in one sense, joy is different from happiness. Tama po ba? No? Sa isang banda? Ang happiness po ay nakabase sa happenstance or circumstance. Ayan. Pero ang joy is revealed within our hearts. Alala niyo yung illustration ko nung joy, the difference between joy and happiness. Nung mga unang panahon, I was still single. Okay, pagbaba ko ng jeep, no, ako yung nasa eskolta, pagbaba ko, naalala yan, naka, pagbabang pagbaba ko, okay, diretso po. Pagka tingin ko sa, sa lupa, merong purse na kulay black, so dampot ko agad, walang tao, wala akong kasabay, walang naglalakad. So alam niyo, pagka bukas ko, okay, nakakrumpled, 100 pesos, 200 pesos, 300 pesos, 400 pesos. So iniisip ko, nung time na yun, I was still single. Sabi ko, kanino kaya ito? E may mga nakita akong pulis doon, kaya lang nagduda naman ako kung uh, ibibigay ko. 400. So ang ginawa ko, pumunta ako sa bookstore at bumili ako ng dalawang libro at nilagay ko, it's called a blessing. Now tingnan niyo po, from that illustration, What is the difference between joy and happiness, diba? I was I was very happy. Why? Nakapulot ako ng pera. Pero mga kapatid, 'yon ay circumstance at 'yon ay happenstance. Iba ang joy. Wala ka mang napulot, may napulot ka man, may laman man ang ating bulsa, meron man tayong pera o wala, meron man tayong uh, uh, pangailangan o wala. Joy is revealed within us and that is a permanent thing. Ano man ang sitwasyon sa ating mga buhay, joy is revealed because that is one, okay, of the ninefold fruit of the Holy Spirit. But the fruit of the Spirit is what? Joy. Diba? Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Again, such there is no law. So naroon ang joy. So joy is part of our what? Good works. Joy is part of our fruit bearing. So mga minamahal, ang joy ay hindi po nakabase sa mga sitwasyon okay, sa buhay natin, but it is revealed in us permanently because of the Lord Jesus Christ reigning in our lives. And then look at verse 7. Your stories of old, ang sabi ng ver- verse 167, I obey your statutes. Sabi ng ibang version, your stories of old, I embrace with my soul. Ayan. Dito makita natin, Lord, your words are wonderful stories. Makita po natin, naalala natin parate, no? Pinabanggit namin ito ni Elder Whenever we read the scriptures and we know the Old Testament and the New Testament, alam nyo, pag alam po natin ang salvation history, kahit sa ano po tayo dalhin, okay, sa kanon ng scriptures, maalala po natin ang kabutihan at ang kwento ng tinatawag na salvation history. It is so wonderful. Ito po yung talagang, uh, sabi nga natin, the greatest love story ever told. Ito po yung tinatawag na love letter ng Panginoon sa atin na talaga namang walang kapantay. So, God's words are wonderful stories. Tell it to others. Sabihin po natin ito sa iba. So, whenever you tell something about God, do you remember those wonderful stories from the scriptures? Ayan, no? So, alam nyo, minsan may mga kwento tayo ngayong mga panaw. Ito na sad. Hindi pa nab- na nabanggit ko nung last time, I think uh, just last month. Alam nyo, pastor, may asawang, may asawang doktora. Alam nyo, <clears throat> medyo may edad na rin sila. Unang namatay yung wife. Tapos alam nyo, after like five days, four, five days, namatay din yung pastor. Mag-asawa. Inabot pa ng pastor yung lamay. Nang, 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 uh, ng kanyang asawa. 
Ito po ay uh, kasama sa Axel Fellowship and it was, you know, uh, it was really a moving experience. Imagine niyo kung paano. It was a sad, very sad story. Kaya nga kapag ka, minsan kapag ka nagkakwentuhan, no, mga pastor talaga namang, may mga pastor, may mga kasama na hindi, hindi, hindi nakokontrol yung emotion at yung luha. Imagine niyo, oo, pag-asawa, nauna lang yung babae, sumunod yung asawa. Siguro, alam nyo, ang, ang, ang uh, na, naisip din siguro ng pastor, sabi niya, paano na, paano na ang buhay ko kung wala ka? Siguro napakabilis bumigay sapagkat syempre napakahirap ng sitwasyon. Pero alam nyo, malungkot. But we have wonderful stories to tell. Hindi man ho natin uh, makakontrol ang ating emotion, but we have such wonderful stories to tell. Stories about God's great work in the past. Lalong-lalo na ang kaligtasan na ipinagkaloob ng Panginoon sa atin. And verse 8, and then the last, or verse 168, ang sabi dyan, you watch, ang sabi, you watch to see if I walk in your ways. Panginoon, binabantayan mo ko kung ako ay lumalakad sa iyong uh, mga salita. Uh, sabi ng ibang version, I obey your precepts, okay, and your statutes. And then the chorus, my heart stands in awe of your words. Lord, your words are like my conscience. Pero ang pinagkaiba, my conscience, konsyensya, ang pinagkaiba po ay God's words are inerrant. Walang mali. Pero yung konsyensya mo at konsyensya ko ay blurred by sin. Infected by sin, marred by sin, tainted by sin. Ang sabi ng Proverbs, the conscience is like the candle of the Lord. The candle of the Lord, parang ito po ay kandila. Pero dito makita po natin ang salita ng Diyos ay nagpapaalala sa atin parati na ganito. Anak, hindi ka lumalakad ayon sa kalooban ko. Anak. Ikaw ay lumiko sa kanan imbes na ikaw ay dapat dumiretsyo lamang. The Lord reminds us every now and then. Kaya nga diba ang sabi ng James 4.17? Ano po ang sabi ng James 4.17? To him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. We cannot base our our uh, decision lamang based on our sa, sa sarili po nating decision or conscience. That's why we need the Word of God because the Word of God is infallible. Ito po ay hindi nagkakamali at inerrant. Pero kapag ito po ay ating sinunod, ito man ang ating sitwasyon, okay, ang ating buhay every day, sabi po ni David, you watch to see if I walk in your ways. I obey your precepts, Lord, and your statutes. And then the chorus, my heart stands in awe of your words. Ang sabi po na Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8, lahat po ng mga bagay sa mundong ito ay gugunaw o kaya mawawala. The, fresh, uh, the, the flesh, all flesh, okay, is as grass. The flower fades, but the word of the Lord stands forever. Mga kapatid, If my words are reflection of God's words, because we are in awe, in awe of God's words, alam nyo, mga minamahal, you and I may not know everything in this world. You and I, every word that we utter, your words and my words, are not necessarily, necessarily true. But when My words and your words are true. It is because of God's infallible word. It is because of the Lord Jesus Christ. By virtue of the one who died for you and for me. Mga kapatid, this is God's word for us as his people. We stand, can't you my song na, Lord, I stand in awe of you. Wala na rin pong pinagkaibiyan pag sinabi po natin, Lord, I stand in awe of your words because God and His words are basically the same. Kaya po ang, ang Diyos na nagsabi ng let there be. In fact, ang translation po nun sa Hebrew ay 
And God said, light, that's all. Let there be light or light. And there was light. Sapagkat kung sino ang ating Panginoon na siyang makapangyarihan, ay kaya pong mag-create ng mundong ito at i-create ang bawat isa sa atin. So, ngayong umaga, sana po ang salita ng Diyos ay patuloy na maging matamis at maging mayaman sa ating mga buhay at patuloy po itong maging wonderful. So, we stand in awe of God's words. May the Lord bless us all. At sa ating pong paghahanda para po sa ating uh, uh, panahon na ito, let me uh, give back the time to Brother Jay. Salamat. Salamat po, uh, Pastor, sa inyong uh, pinsahe. Uh, talaga namang, uh, no? talagang pag ang Panginoon ng kumilos at nagsalita, <laughs> talagang may buti-buti, no? may buti-buti ng Panginoon sa atin. Ngayon po, itadako tayo sa ating uh, Lord's Table. Tinatawag ako po si Elder Wilbar. Tayo ay dadako na sa Celebration natin ng Lord's Table, kaya ating ihanda ang ating cup at ang ating bread. Tayo nagpapasalamat muli sa ating pastor for the joy of listening to the word of the Lord. And again, we have listened to a very pure explanation of these verses from Psalm 119. And truly indeed, tayo ay in awe of the word of the Lord at tayo ay in awe of our God. At ating ihanda ang ating mga sarili. And let me read 1 Corinthians chapter 11 to prepare ourselves, those of us who are willing to participate in this celebration. But then again, we encourage everyone to participate. And these verses that I'm going to read will let us all understand how can we participate in this very important institution that the Lord established. Therefore, whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner, eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep. This is a time for us to follow the instruction given to us by the Lord through Paul on how are we to prepare ourselves in this celebration. In response to the message that we heard today, Tayo are in awe of our relationship with God, Tayo are in awe of our God, Uh, tayo are in awe of the grace that we receive from our God. Uh, tayo are in awe of the word of the Lord. Na siyang katangitangi ang source ng wisdom upon which tayo ay lumalakad sa mundong ito at lalakad sa mundong ito. In response to the message and in response to these awesome things from God. Ay ating i-examine ang ating mga sarili. I-pour natin ang ating puso sa ating Panginoon upang tayo ay maging karapat-dapat na mag-participate sa umagang ito. Let's pray.
Heavenly Father, we thank you for what this bread represents and what this cup also represents. They both bring us back to the historicity of what happened in Calvary. When the Lord Jesus Christ was crucified, he died and he resurrected from the dead. And according to the book of Hebrews, because of the sacrificial death, because of the only high priest that the Lord has given to us, the high priest who sacrifice was pleasing to God once and for all, allowing us, therefore, to see beyond the veil allowing us direct access to our God through the Lord Jesus Christ, the only name upon which man can experience salvation. Thank you so much, Lord. In his name we pray. Amen. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Thank you so much, O oh Lord, for allowing us to participate in the celebration of this institution. And indeed, Father, we are proclaiming the Lord's return. In his name we pray. Amen. Salamat po, uh, Elder Ilbar, sa pag-lead sa ating sa <coughs> Lord's table. Tayo po itatako ngayon sa ating uh, doxology, Jello. Salamat Panginoon sa buong linggo o buong uh, buwan na nakalipas Panginoon na alam namin ang mga biyaya nyo, mga blessings nyo Panginoon na talagang uh, kami magpapasalamat at magpupuri sa inyo Panginoon. Talagang hayaan nyo nandito kami ngayon ulit para ibalik sa inyo Panginoon ang mga biyaya ng ito, mga blessings na pinagkalob nyo sa amin Panginoon talagang Salamat. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa mga biyaya. Salamat po sa mga pinagkalawag niyo sa bawat isa, Panginoon. And even sa, sa aming mga health, Panginoon. Sa aming mga sa may mga may problema, sa may mga uh, pinagdadaanan, Lord, alam namin na kayo ang aming kasama, Panginoon. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, na sa ating mga gusto magbigay, no, para sa ating Panginoon, Pwede po natin kontakin si Sister Emmy and uh, si Tita Betty, no? 
para sa pagbibigay sa ating church or uh, sa ating Panginoon. Kaya uh, di ba pastor, nakita nyo, napakabilis na oras, tapos na agad ang, <laughs> tapos na agad ang ano natin, no? ang fellowship, ano? talagang uh, ang bilis, ang bilis, <laughs> ang bilis ng oras. Salamat, salamat po sa ating lahat no, na nandito. Uh, tinatawagan ko po si, pagtatapos, ano? tinatawagan ko po si Brother Joel para sa ating uh, closing uh, prayer. Brother Joel. Uh, thank you, Jay. So, sa ating uh, pagtatapos, sa panalangin, inaanyahan ko po ito mayo para sa ating closing prayer. Tayo po ay manalang. Gracious Father, Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the preaching of your word. Napakasarap pong namnamin ang inyong mga salita. Tunay na matamis po ito sa pulupokyutan. Tunay na ang inyong utos ay matuwid sa paghatol. Lord, nagagalak po kami sa inyong mga pangako tulad ng isang tao na katuklas ng napal- napakalaking kayamanan. Lord, ang mga binababa namin sa inyo, Lord, sa inyong mga paanan, ang mga bigat at suliran niya ang aming mga buhay. Lord, batid niyo po ang aming mga kalagayan, Lord. at ang mga pinagdaraanan, especially mga I aming mean, mga kapatid sa iglesia, Lord, na, na wala ng trabaho, may inang negosyo, Lord. You know, every, you know everything we are going through, Lord. You know our weaknesses, our lapses, Lord. So we bring everything unto you, Lord, unto your feet, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your sustaining grace, for your goodness and faithfulness, Lord. You are God who keeps his covenant for a thousand generations and love is sure and faith in love from those who love you. and obey your commandments, Lord. Muli, maraming salamat po sa umagal ito, Lord, sa napakagandang mensahe aming narinig, Lord. Aming mahala, Pastor, na nagbigay ng kanyang mensahe, Lord. Maraming salamat po. At ito po ay patuloy namin panghahawangan, Lord, as, as long as we live, Lord. And Lord, as we go our separate ways, Lord, may you bless us and keep us and make your, make your face shine upon us and always be gracious to us, Lord. Lord, salamat po, Lord. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning po sa ating lahat, sa mga nasa Facebook Live, dito sa Zoom Live. Maraming salamat po sa pag-join nyo sa amin. Uh, talagang uh, I hope na bless, na bless ang bawat isa. Uh, see you again next week, no? same time, same channel po tayo. Talagang uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo, sa pagbibigay ng oras, no? Hindi para sa aming oras to, kundi para sa Panginoon. No? Kaya maraming 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 salamat po. Ngayon po ay binibigay ko na po kay uh, Pastor Leo or kay uh, Elder. Salamat po and good morning po. Good morning again sa ating lahat.